Iyong Ino of Cameroon remembers that World Cup well. Every young Cameroonian with the history of Cameroonian football after the 1990 World Cup just had a dream, this passion to one day play football at a top level. So it wasn't different for me. I always thought that I could, I could get to there. I came to IX 2008, and uh, from that time, it, it's been very exciting. It was a little bit strange for me because I just moved from Africa and then getting into uh, such a big club and already playing in the Europa League and getting into Champions League. So it was, it, was, it was a very big step for me. Shortly after Ino's transition to Ajax, he got a call to be part of the Cameroon national team. And from there, he earned a position on the 2010 World Cup team. I was excited to be with the national team going to the World Cup. But as a team, the objective was to at least make it to the quarterfinals. In that particular game against Japan, that we started the game very sloppy. And uh, Japan got the opportunity and scored a goal out of nothing. And at the end of it all, it's a World Cup game, and he will get the chance and put it in, makes a difference, and we, we finally lost the game. The game against Denmark was, uh, for us, a kind of do-or-die game. We knew that we had to win that game on all costs. We scored the first goal, got good shape in the game, and then just later on, out of <laughs> one moment of slaps of concentration, we slipped and they equalized in the first half, so it was 1-1. And after another goal from Denmark in the second half, the Cameroon team was eliminated from the tournament.